Today I'm going to show you how to make a Swedish rye bread called Limpa. It's super delicious. Hi, I'm Soon and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you how to make a light Swedish rye bread. It's delightfully spiced and sweetened with syrup, giving it a very unique taste. Let me just start by saying that there's many ways to make this bread and my version uh, of it is just that, a version of it. Mine is 100% rye, spiced with cardamom, ginger and cloves. And to top it off, some delicious dried crushed peel off Seville oranges. Those are called Pomerans and both Danish and Swedish. And it's quite bitter, but works perfectly in tandem with the syrup. You have to try it. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want to see more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. This bread is an enriched rye bread with both butter, milk and syrup. It's made with 100% sifted rye flour, also known as light rye. The hydration is about 68% and the salt content is a little over 2%. This will give you a brownish soft crumb with relatively small holes. My starter is 100% bread flour, but if you have a 100% rye flour starter, that would be awesome for this bread. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member at Patreon. You could also buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Thank you. Those were the words. This is the recipe. The written recipe is linked in the description down below. If you can't see the link, you may have to press show more or equivalent. To a bowl add, 620 grams of sifted rye flour, 13 grams of salt, one gram of ground cloves, two grams of cardamom, two grams of ginger, two grams of ground bitter orange peel. Alternatively, use the zest of an entire orange. Mix it up so that everything is well dispersed. Pour 50 grams of melted butter into 430 grams of milk. I used salted and 0.5% milk. Pour it into the flour mixture. Then add 145 grams of light syrup or golden syrup. And lastly, add 120 grams of sourdough starter grown to its peak. Mix until the dough is completely mixed through. Then put the dough in a proofing container and let it proof until it's grown by 50%. You may also choose to put it directly into a pan sprayed with nonstick spray. Then you'll save a step. Put it somewhere warm and keep an eye on it. It took about 5 hours for my dough to grow. Use that as a guide, it should grow to 50%, so about one and a half times its original size.
And then when it's grown, it's time to put it in a pan. But if you already put it into a pan, you're good. If not, spray a pan with non-stick spray. I'm using a medium Pullman loaf pan. Then add the dough. Smooth the top with a wet spatula. Turn the oven on to 190 degrees Celsius, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. When the oven is hot, add the pan to the oven. Bake for about 90 minutes or until a probe thermometer shows 99 degrees Celsius, about 210 degrees Fahrenheit when put into the center of the bread. About an hour into the bake, I remove the dough from the pan to get a crust on my bread. If you want the crust to be thin and soft, just let it stay in the pan for the entire bake. When the bread is done, take it out of the oven and put it on a wire rack to cool. And as you can tell, mine should have probably proved a little bit longer since the oven spring was a little explosive. But who cares if it cracked on the top, it'll still taste awesome. Wow, that smells amazing. If you can't wait to cut into it, I'll understand, but you really should let it cool down. And now it's time to look at how gorgeous this bread is. If you could have smelled my kitchen as that bread came out of the oven, oh my. It was torture waiting for it to come down to room temperature. It pairs well with jams and jellies, cream cheese and butter. My personal favorite on this bread is a slice of deliciously smelly caraway cheese. I know, I'm weird. <laughs> I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.